if there's one thing I need more of, that is art supplies. Hey there everyone, it's AJ and I am delving into my first ever upgrade and my first ever art supply box. I already kind of opened, like, did, I've not opened it, but I've kind of like done the little tag thing and yeah, so um, let's sort of delve into this. So this is my first ever one and I really wanted to sort of give it a go. I'm just really struggling to open it at the moment. It really pack this in and... There's a, there's a thing right here, like this. Um, yeah, that, that, that. Um, okay. Never mind. Um, so I've got um, I've got this, and I'm going to be opening it here for the first time. I'm really excited, actually. Can you tell? So let's see. Oh, this looks like it's going to be messy. Um, can you see that there? Yes. Bottle post. Oh. Oh. It's inky stuff. So I die art okay. So let's have a, a look see here. So we've got this this here. Oh that looks nice. I will read through this in another another time. So I've actually got I've actually subscribed to three of these. Uh well when I say three, I've subscribed to like a quarter basically worth of them so hopefully we'll be able to do that oh there's a pencil this looks really nice it is a 4h pencil a car i know heart myth heart myth something like that um i'll try and bring it through here like that yeah i know that looks nice um and then we've got some inks by the looks of it i've got some scar scarlet red ink let's see what does that say pigmented drawing calligraphy ink i'm actually yeah uh resistant to erasing and waterproof that's cool it's got like the little pipette thing the pipette pipette uh, so yeah, that looks nice. I've got what else have I got in here? I've got I love I love sepia. I use this so I use sepia when I'm doing things like my watercolors and stuff, just to sort of like have that nice light wash across there. And then I've got some black noir as as it is said on there. So that looks cool. I can't, I'm actually really looking forward to doing this. I might actually give. Um, sort of this uh, uh, ago like doing some sort of map because I love making maps and I'm thinking it would be nice to be able to do some sort of nice lettering for it so we've got as well some nibs I do have I do have nibs already um, and and stuff but it would be nice to see how this one goes sort of speed ball um, so that'll be interesting to see got Oh, some stickers. So this is... Oh, I like that. Can you actually see that there? Yeah, so I like that um, right there. Then you've got like this sort of little arty cards. If you can see that there, that's the, the person. So this is going to be really nice to sort of do some, some sort of thing with. Oh, and... There is 
a little a little pad there as well uh, that's nice so I'm going to probably spend the next part of the video um, doing some swashes swatches swashes and uh, seeing how the mediums are and everything uh, and do that but no I'm actually really quite happy with that I do like using ink and it's like one of those one of those things that ink can it's just it's just nice to get into and sort of do that with um, there we go um and yeah so I'm going to read through the little pamphlet thing and do that um but yeah hopefully you enjoyed the sort of little opening up of this and and I certainly am going to enjoy doing uh, these particular pieces as well. My guy's trying to do something crazy. I will um, end this little segment right. First of all, I just want to say that my mind has been blown with the pencil that this pack came with. It is of such a great quality. It's unreal. I've never, it's, I've never felt a pencil so balanced and like just such good quality. And yeah, it's just, it's, it's just a great, great pencil. And actually, it's kind of blown my mind. I've never really thought of using a hard pencil for like sketching and things like that, which you'll see me use later on when I do the main piece. But with regards to doing the swatches. As you can see, I opened everything out and, and had a little go, had a little bit of a play. The inks are amazing and are just, they, they provide such a vibrant colour and they are applied across the page so well. And I also really like the, the paper as well. Uh, looking at it, I don't think I got any buckling at all and I did quite a bit of... Uh, like sort of on the on the top of it and things the nibs again were just class i've used nibs before in the past and i i've, I've just found the quality lacking but these ones were amazing moving on to the actual sketch now i decided to just draw uh sort of a, a random girl character uh the my idea was that i was going to actually sort of do it in a similar sort of almost a cartoony type style that the artist who was originally who, who featured in the actual pack uh, did so I uh, the sort of like roundish heads and things like that and I really enjoyed doing this sort of thing I was kind of like didn't really folk like have too much focus on details and things like that but then I just got this really nice sort of pose it was kind of like a dynamic pose and I managed to almost do it so that it was like looking up at this this character and yeah I just really like the sort of flow of it and how I managed to get it as I say the pencil that I used for this was is, is amazing and I am actually going to start sketching more in it with a with a H pencil rather than the B rather than the um B pencils is it a B pencil I think so they're, I think they're normally B pencils like B B4 are they B4 let me check one moment two B's yeah so um I just feel as though you you kind of you, you're not fighting like with sort of smudginess I, I just found that it didn't smudge and as a left handed person when it doesn't smudge I just think it is sort of it's sort of great I just felt as though my sketch was so much more cleaner and I kind of regret not using these sort of pencils before um, I just yeah I just find that it was interesting so with the colour uh, what I did was initially I used the dip pen to you go across with the sepia ink so I did all the lines in sepia ink rather than black I wanted it to be sort of thing you can obviously see my head in the shot here um, hopefully it doesn't detract too much away from the actual footage but um, yeah 
the, the sepia ink, it just meant that it wasn't like a stark black and obviously I could do that. I probably would maybe do it um, a little bit lighter in the future if I was to do, do it again. And also, I didn't want to use too much of it, like just for this little thing, because I wasn't sure when I was going to be able to go back to it. So I didn't want to waste it. And I've got like these little jam jarry type things, which I just poured a bit of the ink into. And I felt, and, and I was able to do that. It's just kind of like these nice little inkwell things. You know, like when you go to a hotel and you see the ink, like the, not inkwells, they're not, not inkwells, they're like little, little jam jars that you put on your thing. I, I took the jam jars basically and did that. I've got about seven or eight of them and I've got my various other inks in there as well. So yeah, that's what I kind of used to do that. I needed to really uh, have it a bit deeper in the in the ink because otherwise it was a bit sort of too shallow so i wasn't able to get as much like load the brush uh, load the brush load the dip pen with as much ink as i needed to um the only thing i would say that was missing with this maybe pack is is a brush but i think a lot of people tend to have brushes so i, I mean i had a brush so i was able to use my own brushes for this to, to sort of make the piece and do the sort of wash things and stuff because I tend to use ink um, and water it down and, 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 and do that sort of thing almost a bit like watercolour the three colours that we had are, are really nice really vibrant and, and I didn't really use the black that much but the red and the, se the sepia are, are, are great uh, for, for that I did go in with a little bit of gouache, white gouache, uh, towards the end of this and just do a bit of a sort of like highlighty type thing. I was going to try and do something with the dress, but it didn't work. So I just went over it, back over it with the ink, which I could do because it was nice. Probably looking back, actually, I would probably maybe keep it as a sort of pinky colour for the dress that I've got at the moment. Um, not the where I've attempted to shade it because that's where obviously I made a, made it sort of an error there and uh, yeah, I don't really want to talk about that um, but overall I'm actually really happy with how this piece turned out and I, it's not something that I've done in a, in a while and it's something that I am going to look to do more in the future it's just like these little ink study type things not necessarily ink study but um, just something it's just a nice character and I just feel as though it pops off the page particularly with the sort of a uh, toned paper that we got to use the, as I say the sketchbook was really nice and I can't wait to create more with that so yeah uh, here I am coming in with the with the white I decided to use white socks and this is the good thing about using the sort of white wash on top of these this paper kind of just makes the white pop just that little bit more uh, it's almost akin to when you go onto a, like a digital, your digital tablet thing, and you do the like the grey background rather than a stark white because it just I just feel as though it makes things can pop up just a little bit more. Um, towards the end, I decided to add like these little glowy particle tech effect type things on the hands, like maybe she's got some sort of spark like power, um, and I just felt that that kind of like added it a bit more. She's kind of like. Almost like Starfire or someone, someone like that from one of the comic book things. Um, the only thing was there was limited colours with this, so I didn't really wasn't able to do much. I didn't want to go too much into doing like watercolour. I really wanted to focus on the actual colours that we were given. Well, I really enjoyed making this piece, and I hope you enjoyed watching me make this piece. Uh, if you did like this video, please hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel to be notified as to when I post videos by hitting that bell notification. Also, please leave a comment, tell me what you thought of this and whether or not you felt it was in a nice, interesting video to watch me open the box. So until next time, I'll see you later. <laughs>